So the tower garden's been really thriving in, inside the grow tent here. Uh, I keep the door open so it gets plenty of fresh air and I got a window cracked just, uh, just beside us here. Um, been doing great with the greens, lots of lettuces, lots of char, lots of choy. Uh, we also have some herbs growing, some mint and some cilantro and a couple other things. So we'll just take a quick look and I'll show you exactly what you can grow inside. Super easy with the tower garden. So as you can see here, our pak choy is growing incredibly big. Look at the size of this leaf here. Um, you know, it's, it's larger, much larger than my hand. And uh, we got another one over here. So, and a bunch more, a bunch more fresh ones coming out, little ones down in the bottom. So the pak choy just, just loves it here. It's beautiful green, wonderful for stir fries and all kinds of uh, food. And then the kale here is really coming out. It started with uh, some smaller leaves, but you can see now they're really starting to take off as it establishes itself. These have been growing a couple weeks here now. Um, and I've already picked off some kale and lettuces and some of everything actually. I've eaten some choy as well. Here's the mint. Mint just uh, is really taken off here. It was a little bit slower to start, maybe took a week, but uh, but now you can see it's it's going gangbusters and mint grows really well. Looking forward to some mojitos. And here's the cilantro. I cut some cilantro off yesterday, but you can see and smell the nice fresh herbs growing. Have some more uh, cilantro starting over here. Just been in there about a week. So it's just getting established. Here's some arugula. This is a very peppery arugula. It's great in salads. And uh, yeah, a couple times a week, just come and cut off some arugula and throw it in a sandwich or a salad. Just eat it, uh, eat it with dinner. Then I got two kinds of lettuces here. Um, wonderful, huge leaves. You can see they're really fresh and you know, you can't get much fresher than than in your home office growing uh, growing your dinner or your lunch. Over along the other side, got some rainbow char. You can see how big these char leaves are. And quite a bit, got some, got some young ones starting out and uh, got some older ones and some newer ones. So lots of char growing really well in here. Some more choy. This stuff just grows unreal. Some more mint in here. It's just a beautiful collection of greenery. And I believe this is some spinach coming down in here. I just had put that in. Actually, that might be some lettuce. Sorry, that's some lettuce. I just put that in uh, about four days ago. So started that from a seed about a week, a week and then uh, yeah, within a week, it's pretty much gone from a seed to what you see here. Here's some more kale down below here. So we're doing really well with the tower. You can see there's some more char buried in here behind the, behind the kale. So things are looking really good on the tower. And again, this is just, you know, in my home office growing right behind me. I'm also, Took some cuttings off my tomato plants and I'm getting those rooted. You can grow tomatoes. I've really successfully grown tomatoes uh, outdoors in the tower garden. Uh, this, with all the sunlight, they just, they just grow gangbusters. Um, right now I got them growing in my aeroponic buckets. But uh, yeah, this is all just done in this little space here behind my desk. And I got about 250 watts of power on those lights. So each one's 50, so 200 watts. Yeah, 200 watts of LED strip light, full spectrum, four foot long lights. And then I just have a little fan up here that blows on the tower just to keep some good air circulation. So super simple. All I have to do is once every week and a half, I just add some water to the reservoir here. And 
and that's all. Easiest way to grow and get food security right at home in a small space. It's a really beautiful piece of uh, furniture as well. Growing with the tower garden is by far the easiest and simplest way to get fresh produce right in, in the comfort of your own home. Literally about 10 steps from here to my kitchen. So come grab my herbs, grab my, grab my greens, you know, and then throw them in the pan or just make a fresh salad whenever I want. Absolutely beautiful, organic, no pesticides, no bugs. Um, it's so easy, so simple to do, and it provides the food freedom and security that my family needs. If you're interested in finding out more about the Tower Garden, you could check the link below, and while you're down there, smash the like button and subscribe so you can see all of the great videos that Small Scale Gardener brings.